All right, so this brings us to the end of um, section 6.1. In this um, couple examples, what we are going to do here is basically rewrite uh, the given rational expressions in uh, four more uh, forms, you know, four equivalent forms. You're just trying to recognize or in our case, write four equivalent forms for given rational expression. Now, it may seem like how is that possible, but it's actually fairly easy how you can do that. Now, you can see you have a negative on the outside, x plus 6 over x minus 1. It's really simple. All you have to do is take that negative sign on the outside, now, right now, as you can see, it's in the middle. It's not on the numerator or denominator. It's just in the middle of the expression. So to get one equivalent form, you can take that negative sign and put it on the numerator. Okay? So that gives you one form. In the other form, you could take that negative sign and put it on the denominator. Okay? Those, that gives you two forms. Um, the other thing you could have done is once you put the negative on the numerator, you could go ahead and distribute that negative. So this would give you negative x minus 6 over x minus 1. So that gives you your third form. And for the fourth one, uh, do a similar sort of thing. When you put the negative on the denominator, for the next form, you can go ahead and distribute it. So that will give you x plus 6 over negative x plus 1, okay? So all you're really trying to do here is try and come up with four more forms of the rational expression. So in total, you end up with five different forms, okay? You want to apply the same idea to this next example here. Okay, you have... Um, negative 2x minus 9 over 3x plus 1, and you want to come up with four uh, equivalent forms of this rational expression. So what are you going to do here? Now you can see this expression is a little bit different from the one we saw here. In this one, when we started out, the negative sign was in the middle, but here you don't see a negative sign of that form. What they have done here is they're actually starting out with this form that we had started with. They have that negative distributed over your numerator. So all you need to do here for the first form is try and bring that negative outside. Okay, so for your first form, we'll go ahead and pull a negative outside of our numerator. So if the negative comes outside, the same thing as bringing out a negative one, okay? When you bring that negative outside, the negative 2x becomes positive, the negative 9 becomes positive. Okay? So that's your first form. We brought the negative outside uh, of our numerator. For the second form, you can put the negative on the denominator. Okay? So that there goes your two forms. For the third form, you can just leave the negative in the middle like we had in that first example. Don't put it on the numerator or denominator. Just leave it in the middle. Okay, so that gives you your third form. So let's see, we have the numerator, uh, the negative on the numerator, negative on the denominator, negative in the middle. Then, originally they had given the negative distributed over the numerator for our fourth form, you can go ahead and distribute that negative over your denominator. So the numerator stays 2x plus 9. The denominator will now become negative 3x minus 1. Okay. There you go. You have your four different forms, or I'm sorry, four equivalent forms of your rational expression.